Right now, we have been following for you the industrial action by the healthcare workers. And today, Beatrice Gatonye has been following up on what the clinical officers have to say. I understand today they held a peaceful protest uh, from Uhuru Park to the Council of Governors offices. Uh, let's just go straight there just to follow up on what is happening and what are some of the issues that are being raised by the clinical officers this morning. A very good afternoon, Gatonye. What do you have for us uh, from the front of the clinical officers? Thank you very much, Safina Cheng from the studio. My name is Beatrice Gatonye Ngetich. I'm coming live to you from uh, Waiyaki Way, where the clinical officers are actually holding a procession to the COG, the Gov Council of Governors offices here in Nairobi, as they protest mistreatment by the county government, uh, even after signing a return to work formula after weeks of strike. And with me, Secretary General, clinical officers, who is going to give us, uh, uh, give us what exactly is happening here. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just give us a brief of what is happening today and uh, what is going on. Okay, thank you very much uh, for having me on KBC. And I want to say that as you see the clinical officers today, they are out demonstrating uh, against the decision by the Council of Governors not to ascend to the document that was agreed in the multi-agency team. And we are actually demanding that they ascend to that document so that they can provide platform for clinical officers to continue working. One thing that happened is that on first when we did an agreement we, where they were not present, they had promised to come and sign the document. Later on, they actually did a letter to the CS Health dis disassociating themselves from the document and saying that they were not fully consulted. And unfortunately, on the same letter, they also agreed that there was a multi-agency team that was conciliating on the matters that are affecting clinical officer. That actually gave a result of these 18 items that was done in a return to work. But again, they say that we need to go back and agree with the county government individually. With what we call this is what we call insincerity by the Council of Governors. And we want to call upon them that they can provide leadership, ascend to this document because they appreciate that they nominated people who participated. And the only result, any result of this reconciliation or other negotiation was a return to work. And the only way they can actually ensure that they are doing favor to, Ken to Kenyans is by ascending to that document so that even if it is done by this evening or rather midnight we will be back to work anytime because there is nothing that again we are demanding we are only demanding that the council of governors sign fully the document that they negotiated for uh -huh. so you're saying that the strike is still on until they are sent to that document precisely because the only document that provides for any for any employee to go back to work after negotiation after going on strike is a return to work the return to work if it's not in place, the only other thing that can compel people to go back to work is a court order. And there is no court order. The strike is still legal. Once you take away the tool that was taking back the clinical officer, then you say that the status quo ensue. That is to mean clinical officer resume uh, strike, which they have now done. And we are going to their offices to demand that they are sent to this document and be sincere to Kenyans so that they can pay allegiance to what they promised Kenyans so that we can continue offering services. And indeed, we need to appreciate the move by the president to intervene on this matter through the Minister of Health and the Minister of Labor. But unfortunately, we have to protest this move by the Council of Governors by dis disassociating themselves from the return to work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That is the Secretary General Clinical Officers in Kenya who is giving us a brief of what is happening today. And actually, as you've heard, it's about a document that uh, the Council of Governors, a return, for me, a return, to, a return to work formula uh, document that they have refused to sign. He says the strike is still on until the governors are able are, are, uh, are sent to that document so that the clinical officers can go back to work and continue offering services to Kenya. Reporting to you, uh, coming to you live from uh, Nairobi, my name is British uh, Gatonya Ngetich. I return you back to Safin Achengouma, back to the studio.
Thank you so much, Beatrice Gatonye Ngetich. Ngetich there, just following up on the industrial action by clinical officers who say and maintain they have resumed their strike over what they term as a failure by the counties to fulfill their side of the bargain when it comes to the return to work formula agreement.